Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I am here to unbox the September Fairy Loop Box. The theme of this month's box is Under the Sea and I'm really excited because I've never read a book about mermaids so I cannot wait to see what's inside of this one. The people over at Fairy Loot sent this box to me for free and I just want to clarify that my opinions about the items of this box and the book etc are all my own and are not influenced by me getting this box for free although I am so so grateful and really happy. I've been a subscriber to the Fairy Loot box in the past for like two years and I love the boxes so Fairy Loot sending the boxes to me means so much to me. Now let's open the box because I know we're all here to see what is inside. <laughs> okay here we go. I know that one of the items is a ceramic mug and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in this thingy over here. The ceramic mug is inspired by To Kill a Kingdom and I do own this book. It is still on my TBR. I haven't read it. Ooh, ooh okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. Oh, this feels so nice. Oh, it is really pretty even though I do not understand what's going on on the artwork. The first thing that I noticed about this mug is that there is a quote actually on the inside. It says, it's like holding a story rather than a person. She feels wild and infinite in my arms, which Okay, pretty, pretty quote. And the artwork on this mug is so stunning as well. One can never have too many mugs, I agree. <laughs> and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, mom. <laughs> We're more than happy to add to your collection with this To Kill a Kingdom mug designed by the talented Gabriella Gussi. The mug displays the two main characters from To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. I know that my mom is not gonna be super happy with me owning yet another mug, but I don't care. I love collecting mugs and this is a beautiful item. Okay, I like this a lot. We have a hairbrush. I love a bookish box with some original items that you wouldn't necessarily think of to be included in a bookish box, but it has a really nice design on it with shells and a little bit of like watery sea motions and bubbles and stuff like that. It looks very beautiful and it works really nice. <laughs> we know all too well how tangled your hair can get after a swim with the mermaids. Use this hair detangling brush to gently brush out any and all knots. The brush was illustrated by Et Taracha. I always say Taracha, but maybe it's Et Taracha. I don't know. <laughs> it also kind of reminds me of that scene where Ariel is brushing her hair with a fork. And you know, if Fairy Loot came through with this brush back then, I think she would be so happy. <laughs> Next up, I think that these are gonna be metal straws. I mean, I hear it ringing inside of the pouch. Wow, okay, this is a big metal straw. We have this huge metal straw which says beach please. If you haven't yet made a swap from plastic straws to metal one, if you can, here's your chance. We hope you'll love these ombre metal straws which come in two sizes and in the most stunning blue shades. We couldn't resist adding a fun beachy quote on each two, which I think are so cleverly done. Plus you also have this little cleaning device and I wanna show you something. <laughs> I was drinking my iced coffee this morning whilst using this metal straw, which I received in a fairy loot box a couple of years ago. So they are so useful and I'm really glad that I got two more of these. So we have another little envelope. This is the item that Tasman spoiled me for, I think. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it is an Ursula enamel keychain. The little packaging artwork is gorgeous again, and you have a, how do you call this? A trident, and the text, the quote on the keychain says, poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> our next item is a super fun unfortunate souls keychain inspired by one of our favorite undersea villains, Ursula. The beautiful design is done by Love You More Studio. Ooh, a little card. <laughs> inspired by Atlantis. Oh look, a postcard from Atlantis and they say it's lost. The print is illustrated by the lovely Tara Cha, Tara Cha, and we think it'll be a super fun addition to your postcard collection. What city would you like to visit next? <gasps> okay, <laughs> this item is huge, but before I'm gonna show you the <gasps> item, <laughs> I will show you the two tarot cards that they put in this box. I have no clue who these two characters are. This month's featured tarot cards are the seven and eight of sorts. They are designed by the very talented Catherine Britt and are inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I don't know how Fairy Loot comes across all of these amazing artists, but their artwork is always on 
point. Okay, the item that made me go like, <gasps> is this? <laughs> holy shit. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> A sea witch pencil case. And the quote on the cover of this pencil case says, don't grant all the princess requests, darling girl. Men are always asking for more than they should. A quote from Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I love the vibrant color. Blue is one of my favorite colors and this is kind of like a sea green bluish pencil case. And I love the size of this pencil case. You can put so many pens and whatever in this thing. I always have pencil cases that are too small, but you don't have to worry about that with this one. Keep all your pearls, seashells, and other treasures in this beautiful pencil case. The pencil case features the quote from Sea Witch by Sarah Henning and is designed by none other than Ink and Wonder. We are absolutely obsessed with these colors and so am I, it's so vibrant. I love these items in this box so much. <laughs> and I think that that is it. And now let's go on to the book. So I had a prediction for what the September book would be, but then I thought that that book came out in August. So I don't know if it's going to be included in this one or if I'm going to be surprised. Maybe I was completely wrong, but we shall find out when I open the pouch. Okay. So the cover feels super velvety. Let's have a look at the book. <gasps> yes. Okay. So it is what I thought it was going to be. This is Fable by Adrienne Young. I know which book she wrote. She wrote wrote Sky and the Deep and The Girl the Sea Gave Back, so I just unhauled the Dutch edition of that book because I wasn't planning on reading that book anytime soon, and especially not in Dutch. I prefer reading books in, like, English. But I was correct. This is just a different cover. I do really like the original cover as well, and I just, I don't know which one I prefer. This one is really beautiful on its own as well. I have no clue if this is, like, a special fairy loot edition, but we will find out once I read the little magazine thing. And the the edges are sprayed like a blue greenish color with a silver metallic sheen to it. It is signed by the author herself though, which is so cool. So now let's read the synopsis to find out what this book is about. Traitor, fighter, survivor. As the daughter of the most powerful traitor in the Narrows, the sea is the only home 17 year old Fable has ever known. It's been four years since her father abandoned her on a legendary island filled with thieves and little food. To survive, she must keep to herself, learn to trust no one, and rely on the unique skills her mother taught her. The only thing that keeps her going is the goal of getting off the island, finding her father and demanding her rightful place beside him and his crew. To do so, Fable enlists the help of a young trader named West to get her off the island and across the narrows to her father. But Fable soon finds that West isn't who he seems. Together, they will have to survive more than the treacherous storms that haunt the narrows if they're going to stay alive. This sounds like a super adventurous read and I'm a little clueless if this story will involve like mermaids or if it's more like pirate, sea based. I have no clue but it seems super interesting and I've heard really great things about this book until so far. Let's have a look at the little things in the pouch. So we have beautiful artwork which is supposed to be I think inspired by the character in the book and a letter from the author. And yes, your fairy loot edition of Fable comes with an exclusive redesigned cover. It has sprayed edges and it is signed by Adrian Young. I mean, what could you wish for besides that? I do have to say this box was definitely better than I thought it would be. I don't know why, but I did not think that this box could top the August box, but they're equal. They're both really amazing. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this Fairyloot box and the items. I love it so much. I think I'd give this box like a solid eight or even a nine out of 10. I just love it. I just love it. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber, of course, you can follow me on Goodreads, but I also have Instagram, Twitter, an email address, and an Etsy shop. Update is coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!